Yo, what's going on you guys? It's Delani here back again with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to reduce lag or fix lag issues um, that you guys may be having for Rocket League. This is for all consoles, so that includes PC, uh, which also includes Steam and Epic Games. On console, it includes Xbox, you know, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, uh, PS4 or 5, whatever. Um, basically any console that Rocket League is on. I think even Switch has it. And also it's split up into three categories because there's a few ways to reduce lag on Rocket League and there's a lot of different things that could be causing lag. So those three things are, first off, the settings of Rocket League, which are this, which I'll get to in a second. There's also out. There's a couple things outside of Rocket League, which includes Wi-Fi and like network connection. And then the third one would be settings outside of your actual um, game itself. So I'll get to those in a second, and we're going to start off with the first one, which are the in-game settings. So obviously, to start off, you guys are going to want to press start and go to your settings. If you're on the main menu, you should, guys should see the settings there. And you'll see there's a couple tabs here. Uh, in the gameplay tab... The one thing you guys might want to switch here is having your client send rate on high, having your server send rate on high, and your bandwidth limit on high. All these should automatically be on high, to be fair, but if you guys don't have it, make sure they are set to high. Um, also, you got the input buffer. Now, a lot of people are saying that the CSTS is the best when it comes to lag, so definitely uh, switch to that. And that's about it for the gameplay tab, so make sure you have these four settings switched if you guys didn't already have them. Uh, for camera, there shouldn't be anything really that causes lag within camera, so don't worry about switching those. Same with controls, this is literally just your controls. Um, interface, I don't think there's anything. The only possible thing that might actually cause more lag is the uh, colorblind mode. Only reason being is because it's adding a filter to the game. So it might, you know, that extra filter might actually be um, causing a little bit more lag. So, but I don't think it'll be anything crazy anyways. Video. This tab is the big one here. Let's just skip on to audio and chat. So these these don't have anything either, guys. So don't worry about these. It's it's really just the video that you want to focus on. Now I'm on PC, so obviously there are a lot more options. Um, but when it comes to console, there's only going to be a few things. Like uh, I think uh, you'll have like high quality shaders. Maybe not shaders, but you'll have like maybe motion blur or shadows weather effects on console so if you're on console and you guys are experiencing lag i recommend turning those off and obviously on pc you're just going to turn them all off because what these do is it just adds so many layers to the game and it might be too much for your pc or console in general so by turning these off it actually will help a lot another big one will be um the texture quality world detail all these so i have them set to high quality although my graphics card can um, handle it now if you guys have not the best graphics card you might not want to put it on high quality you might want to maybe put it on quality or performance now if you guys are really having an issue with lag i recommend i recommend high performance this this is probably the thing that will definitely fix it. it yes it lowers the graphics a lot yes it does this but honestly you guys are better off having higher performance and higher quality especially if you guys have lag because um, this game requires a lot of mechanics and in order for you to do this you want to have the most uh, the highest possible fps so definitely put these down to higher performance and all of these go to that so performance performance and then high performance um with the basic settings, uh, with the frame rate, uh, maybe try lowering your frame rate. I, I wouldn't go under 60 FPS. If your PC can't handle 60, you know, go under it. But I'm pretty sure most of you guys' PCs can handle 60. So go to 60, but no lower than 60. Um, and yeah, obviously 144, 120 is better. 
but like I said, sometimes if you guys increase your uh, FPS, it will make your game lag. So go go to 60, but no lower than that. Um, for render detail, uh, you guys want to have it based off of uh, what you want. So obviously, like I said before, you guys, if you guys are experiencing a lot of lag, maybe try going to performance or even quality. And yeah, that's about it for video. Uh, one last thing also, I've heard that if you're on PC, putting it on full screen actually helps a lot uh, because it, it kind of tells your PC in a way that you're prioritizing the game. So having it on full screen definitely helps. I know a lot of you guys might like Windows so you can keep, you know, going across your screens if you have multiple with your mouse. But apparently full screen is actually the best uh, when it comes to this game. Okay, guys, so that's the first thing. Those are the settings within Rocket League. Now, there's two more options, like I said, the network settings and a couple settings that you can do on your PC um, outside of Rocket League. Uh, so now we're going to go to number two being the network connection. So if you guys um, are experiencing lag, it could just be because of your Wi-Fi. Like maybe your Wi-Fi is not the best, you know. Um, now that just tells you maybe you should be going to wired connection, like a full wired connection with the Ethernet cable uh, right into your PC or console. Um, that's what I do when I play games, and it actually does make a pretty big difference. I, I put it into my consoles like my Xbox and PS5 when I play online games, and especially my PC. Um, I definitely have a uh, Ethernet cord directly in it all the time this will definitely boost your network and you guys will probably be getting a lot less ping than you guys were before so definitely try doing this i understand some of you guys it may not be possible but i'm just listing it out there as a method for those that can actually do this all right now for number three is outside of rocket league so let's go to my desktop and i'll see you guys there so for this last thing, it requires going into the search bar on the bottom here. Um, now, Windows 10 and 11, I'm on 11 right now. Windows 10 and 11 are pretty similar. There'll be a search bar on the bottom. Just find that, click on it, and then you guys are going to want to search Task Manager. And then just click it or click Enter. It'll open up your Task Manager, and what this says is how much like memory and CPU... Um, percentage it's using for each thing so here look since we closed Rocket League, we might want to open Rocket League again so let's open Rocket League uh, okay so our task manager closed but we'll open Rocket League my, for some reason my Rocket League takes a little longer than usual to actually open it uh, okay so Rocket League's opened we're gonna wait for it to fully load okay okay psionics whatever Okay, so once we're here, now we're going to tab out of this and go back to our task manager. We're probably going to have to reopen it. So task manager. So yeah, sorry, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, you would have to have your actual game open before. So open your Rocket League, then open task manager. Okay, so as you can see, our game's running in the background and we have task manager. You can see now it's showing up here. Rocket League, it's using 13%, whatever. Um, so you want it to be the most, you want Rocket League to be the highest because that's how you know your computer is prioritizing it. Now I'll show you guys how to fix that if it's not. So you want to click on the CPU thing, um, so that Rocket League or so that it shows what's the top. And if your Rocket League's already on the top, you guys should be fine. But if not, you guys want to click it, right click it. Even if it is already on the top, still do this anyways, because it will probably help out. So you want to right-click it and go to Details. Now after you do that, it'll bring you to another thing here. You want to find the RocketLeague.exe folder here and right-click that. You're going to go to Set Priority and make sure it's set to Real Time. It should automatically be on Normal. You want to put it set to Real Time or High, one of the, one of the two. And, that, and then you want to change Priority. That basically is you're telling the CPU of your computer to prioritize Rocket League and only Rocket League. Yes, other things will still be running, but most of the energy that the CPU is using will be going into actual Rocket League itself. And this will definitely help out a lot too. Now, 
<clears throat> Another thing that may be causing lag that I'm going to add real quick before I end off the video is, you know, a lot of you guys might be having uh, Google um, tabs, just like eight of them open or like, you know, you'll have YouTube on one, you'll have this. Uh, just close all your tabs, close everything, close Google in general. Um, sometimes you guys will have Discord in the background, uh, Spotify, you know, on your other uh, monitors, let's say. You guys are going to want to close as much as you can and only have Rocky League open as this could cause lag on your game. Um, I know some of you guys, you know, might want to watch YouTube in the background or listen to music, you know, with Spotify, YouTube, whatever. Um, but if you guys are experiencing lag, definitely try closing them and... If it fixes it, great. If it doesn't, then I guess you guys can keep doing it. But um, it definitely has helped for me closing everything because you're just it's it's going back to what I said before. It's it's just helping your computer prioritize that one thing because it's the only thing open, right? Anyways, I think that's going to wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy, if 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 these tips did help you, definitely slap that like button. It would help me out a lot. Uh, also, comment down below if there's anything I missed. Maybe you guys have other methods uh, for you guys to reduce lag. Definitely let me know in the comments section below. And of course, subscribe if you guys are new. I will be making uh, more videos like this, not only for Rock League, for a lot of things. And uh, yeah, as always, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. That's been the video, and I'm out. I just wanna be Peace. Happy, happy